Today, with all the CCTVs, with all the forensics, with all the DNAs and all that, we cannot control crime. So, there is an issue here. The issue is not with how tough the law is. The issue is with moral training of people. How are we nurturing our people? How are we educating them? What are we teaching them in schools? What is the society teaching them? When you give your children GTA to play with, Grand Theft Auto, a game that glorifies robberies, killings, promiscuity. Okay, when you're giving your children games to play the way, where you're killing each other. Right? When you give them movies like Godfather, the American Gangster, right? Or Heat, for example, okay, where you are glorifying gangsters. Yeah? You make a love story out of a gangster. And when he dies, you play this very touching music in the background, making people sorry for the gangster. But he's, 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 he's a scumbag who has sold drugs to people, who has killed so many people, and you're glorifying him in a movie. So that radicalizes people. That radicalizes people to such an extent. Radicalization it doesn't only go one way. It doesn't cause people to commit acts of violence and terrorism. It can go the other way as well. Right? When you talk about radicalization, people are being radicalized by certain religious groups. It is very important to talk about it. It is very important to prevent it, no doubt, because people commit acts of violence and it is abhorrent to allow people to go and preach violence and hatred in societies so that they can commit acts of violence. Likewise, if we are glorifying gangsters, criminals, in movies, in games, in documentaries, there is a movie on El Chapo. There is a movie on Pablo Escobar. Come on, what's wrong with you? It's like making a movie about uh, Baghdadi. Make, you know, there is no difference here. You make a movie about Baghdadi and glorify him and make him look like a, you know, very, uh, make a love story out of him. So we have to look at societies consistently. You cannot allow one uh, type of radicalization to exist and ban the other. You should ban all forms of radicalization in the sense that uh, when something is harming society, whether it's religious radicalization or uh, cultural radi radicalization or uh, a criminal uh, radicalization or cr criminal influences, you must stop all of them. All forms of hate, all forms of um, uh, ideas that promote violence okay, against innocent people has to be stopped. It has to be stopped.